This week on Campus Update, sports update on the baseball team, another Oilers spotlight, another episode of ROP Career Kickstart, come see the One Act Play Festival, and finally, the Tower Awards. Good day, Oilers. I'm James Hamill, and this is the last time you'll be seeing me anchor this wonderful show. First up, it's been a record-breaking year in Oilers sports. Today, we focus on our Sunset League champion baseball team. Oilers, this is Dominic Abadessa. My man Cooper Moore right here. We're on the baseball team. Uh, I just want to say it'd mean a lot to us if you guys can make it out to our game this Thursday. It's just our first CIF game. Um, go Bows. Congratulations, guys. Next up, we have another wonderful Oilers spotlight. This time, we grabbed an interview with tech whiz at MMT Powerhouse, Brianna Pham Thun. I've been a part of APA for three years, so I got into APA as an MMT media major, and my junior year, I started playing in the shows, and senior year, I'm doing both. I got put into the guitar class freshman year, and that's really how I found out about APA, and Mr. Knight convinced me to audition for the media side. So I said, okay, why not? So I did, and ever since that guitar class, I've been playing guitar, and then I started getting into bass, and so Mr. Knight said I should try out for the bass parts, so I did, and then he put me down for a playlist, which is how I got my start in bass, and ever since then, I've been playing bass in the shows. On the music side of MMET, I play bass, and for Retrofest, I am also playing keyboards. And on the media side, I help with a lot of behind the scenes work, so just getting all the video content ready for the show. I do photography, and I also film, and I'm also a live video director, so I decide what the audience sees and what it doesn't. Man, it's too bad she's a senior. We could use more students like that. That reminds me, you could follow in her footsteps as a member of the Campus Update team. Let's find out more in another installment of Career Kickstart. But wait, I need to go over here. Do you have a burning passion for journalism? Do you want to take it upon yourself to dig up the best stories and broadcast them for the school to see? Then join us at Campus Update. We are always looking for new and eager students to join the team. Jobs include shooting, editing, and getting hands-on experience in our state-of-the-art TV studio. All the seniors will be graduating soon, including myself, and we'll need someone to fill our shoes. If Campus Update isn't your jam, maybe Music Tech is. In this ROP class, students learn all about sound engineering and the techniques behind songwriting and recording. Learn about microphones, DAWs, mixing, music theory, and more. At the end of the class, you will get to write and record your very own song using professional level gear. Want to enroll? Just talk to the ROP guidance specialist in the office. That's right, you can join the Campus Update team and find out how I just went from one set to the other. Or did I? On to APA Theater News, the 18th Annual One Act Play Festival is opening May 18th and 20th. I'm a playwright in the Dramatic Productions uh, Department at APA, which means that uh, I have the job of writing the plays that go on in the 10 minute and one act play festivals. What it's like to be a playwright is really interesting because you get to create something and really see it come to life and just experimenting with what kind of things that you can write and what kind of people you can cast and what kind of directors you can choose and how you work to see something amazing come out of it. My part in this festival is I am in one of the plays and I help with warm up. All of the plays are written by students and directed by students and are performed by students. And there are six in the play festival and in the play festival, the actors are peers with the directors, so they have a lot to do with the blocking and stylization of the play itself. Uh, a lot of times actors are not as afraid to tell the director that they don't like something, so uh, they will be more likely to contradict the director or the playwright, which also allows for new blocking styles that oftentimes end up better than they would have been because you have more minds working on the same project. And it ends up being better than the playwright could have pictured it on paper. So I'm one of the nine directors we have in the 
Dramatic Productions class, which is, which is our class of directors and playwrights. Within the festival, we have six plays going on, so I'm one of six plays. I also work with my assistant, Rachel Ford, who is helping me with the show. Come see the One Act Play Festival, May 18th and 20th, 7.30 p.m. The year is wrapping up Boilers, which means the Tower Awards ceremony is next Tuesday. Let's find out the details. When I'm choosing nominees for a Tower Award, um, for literature I look for somebody who both excels at class discussion and analyzing literature and then also writes really solid papers. And when I nominate for composition, um, it, the focus is primarily on composition and paper writing. However, I'm also interested in how that person discusses and analyzes. So I think that um, those top awards for those students definitely need to be students who, who just have a passion for the subject matter. Well, that's it, Oilers. This is James Hamill signing off for the last time. See you, Starside.